This week on Headlines That Suck, we learned that it takes two to tango. You best watch out for bears in Bearsville. And if your wife is the jealous type, I would recommend either logging off Facebook or hiding the knives. Family of bears destroy house in Bearsville. In other news, tourism is up in Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Bath salts may help rheumatoid arthritis. Oh, that's really interesting. They might also help you beat the crap out of a seven-year-old and take her pink tricycle. Kristen Stewart isn't the only guilty party. Director Rupert Sanders is just as wrong for cheating on his wife. <laughs> Woman stabs husband over Facebook. Yeah, well, you know, it's one way to change your relationship status. Oh, no. A pubic ready to act on genocide. Syria. Spell check doesn't work for everything. Saddle could you uh, give up. This is why you don't show up to work hungover. You know, at first glance, I thought another volcano erupted in Iceland. Ukrainians discuss plan to get pigeons drunk, then deport them. As long as there's a designated flyer, I really don't see a problem. Obama stops for grilled cheese sandwich. That is a Gouda story. Get it, Gouda? Anyway, we're done for this week, folks, but don't forget to subscribe to Headlines That Suck. Bye. Is Chick-fil-A anti-gay marriage? Guilty as charged, Tweeter says. No two chicks are allowed to marry, says the dude surrounded by cocks.